Hey guys, my name's Kelsey. Welcome to my sweet jigs, where my terrace is bigger than my actual living space. But before you come in, make sure you subscribe below. Okay, come check it out. I live on the border of Tribeca and Chinatown. We pay $4,000 in rent. I do think that that is a little expensive, but it is New York City and everything's expensive. I live with my boyfriend, Justin, and our cat, little girl. He moved in here last July when we first started dating. And then this year I moved in in June and put my touches on it. The total square footage of the apartment is a thousand square feet, but if you take off the outside terrace, it's about 400 to 450 square feet. I think it's really hard to find an apartment with this type of outdoor area that makes the price tag worth it. So this is our bathroom. It was important to me to have a nice bathroom because in a studio, this is the only room where there's actually a door. If I wake up in the middle of the night or if Justin wakes up in the middle of the night, we kind of like come in here and like sit on the floor and work and do emails or whatever we're doing. And luckily it's big enough that I'm not just in here sitting next to a toilet. I wanted to kind of keep it neutral and calm. We have a big vanity space, so I'm able to have like all of my jewelry and my beauty products. Some of my favorite beauty products are the Way Wave Spray. I will wake up early, get out of the shower, kind of like do a few like spritzes and then um, kind of run out of the house. Another product that I love is the Caudalie Face Mist. It's like just a great refreshing mist to have in your purse and it just like helps refresh my skin. This is the kitchen. The kitchen faces the bed, so it's kind of the first thing you see when you wake up in the morning. Visually, it's really great. It's just really small. I just recently started cooking. It was nice to finally be able to cook for two people and not for one, which was always my excuse before. My favorite thing to cook is probably Greek or Mexican food. I love to make a Greek salad. It's pretty easy. It's something you definitely can't mess up. <laughs> my favorite cookbook to cook out of right now is Cherry Bomb by Carrie Diamond and Claudia Wu. It's both visually really great to look at, but it also has great recipes for two people. And this is our bedroom. So when I first moved in this apartment, my boyfriend surprised me and bought me this cabinet from a furniture store called White on White. It's both visually really appealing, but also great for storage. My most sentimental item is actually a rug that we just bought in Morocco. We were actually just walking down the street and someone approached us, and I don't ever recommend anyone to do this, but we went with this man and he took us into like a secret Riyadh, which had like amazing stacks of rugs. We ended up finding one at the right price point, the right color, and I think it's something that we'll have forever and we'll remember the experience of buying it together. When I first moved in, Justin gave me a full closet for all of my clothing and shoes. I, I ended up kind of taking over half of his as well. <laughs> Trouble with sharing a small space is when you go to sleep and when you wake up. I'm a florist, so I wake up sometimes around 4.30 when those days are happening, I just know that I need to put everything in the bathroom and kind of sneak out in the morning. I think like for anyone, having someone move into your space is not easy, even if it's someone you love and someone that you're excited to live with. He lived alone for forever and I lived alone for probably like the past eight years, but I think when you really want to be with someone, I want to spend time with someone, it's nice to live together. We both work a lot, so we really just enjoy having our nights together and our mornings together, and luckily it's been a lot easier than I thought it would be. I'm the owner and founder of Pop-Up Florists. We're a floral and plant design company based in New York City. I did fashion design for seven years, and when the line I was designing for closed, I kind of started Pop-Up Florist as a side hustle, and it ended up turning into a full business and a full-time job. This is our living room, and then this is our desk slash office area. Our splurge item in this apartment was the TV. It's called The Frame by Samsung. As you can see, you're able to put your own photos up. It's a really fun, way to display a TV without it being the focus and centerpiece of the room. I think the TV was around $2,000, um, which is a lot for a TV right now, but I definitely think it's something we'll have for a very long time. I have an obsession with baskets. You'll probably see around the apartment, probably only like 20% of them are here. The rest are in storage. What do you guys think? Should I keep collecting baskets? You can sound off in the comments below. My favorite home find are these Turkish rug pillows that I actually found at Ikea. They're made out of vintage Turkish rugs. I think they're just a really interesting pop of color to the apartment. 
And this is our outdoor space. This apartment, as being a studio, is really a transitional space for us. I didn't want to spend a ton of money on the outdoor space, so I kind of put my DIY mind to use and said, let's buy this, a picnic table, just a plain picnic table, and paint it and kind of make it our own. And I think we did it all for under $200. Owning pop-up florists has really helped with my design eye. I've now designed two retail spaces. Going through that exercise has really helped me with the apartment. I think my home style is definitely bohemian. I love to mix colors and patterns and textures. I really like the vibe of it being tropical. All of the plants, unfortunately, probably won't make it through the winter. Luckily, I own a plant shop, so when it starts to get cold, I'm going to sell them or give them away. I think this apartment was built for entertaining. I love to entertain. People really love the space, and I think when people walk in, they see how special it is and can see like all of the energy and hard work we put into the terrace, especially. Justin and I actually met on Tinder. It actually works sometimes <laughs> after you go on a lot of terrible dates. I walked in and he was drinking a grapefruit margarita, which is my favorite drink, so obviously, like we're gonna get married because of that. <laughs> Oddly enough, like one of our talking points was that he was moving and that he was moving into this apartment. We'll always like look back at this place and think of it as like such an amazing home that we were able to create together. I think that it's like truly our apartment. Thank you so much for checking out my sweet digs. To watch more videos, click here and to subscribe, click here.